people coming. Uh, I'm Pan Li from Zhejiang University in China. Uh, today I'm going to present the phylogeny and biogeography of the East Asian genus Atractylodes, revealed by Resty. So Atractylodes is a small genus endemic to temperate East Asia. Some species have very important medicinal values, so that they are commonly used as traditional medicine in China, Japan, and Korea. Here shows uh, the uh, figure of uh, Atractylodes macrocephala and the uh, Atractylodes japonica. The taxonomy of Atractylodes are problematic. So there uh, four to seven species are accepted by different authors. Um, the first one is Atractylodes conyloides. Uh, this one has basal uh, rosette leaves. Uh, only found in uh, two sites at uh, South China. The second one is Macrocephala. Uh, this one uh, was once widely distributed in the Yangtze River Basin, um, but due to uh, hundreds of years of uh, over-exploration, they are almost wiped out from the literal range, and, uh, but it's still uh, common in cultivation. And the other five species are uh, have have many problems. The the differences between the among them are mostly based on leaf morphology. So, uh, for example, the uh, ovata uh, has similar uh, morphology and distribution with japonica. And so they are generally treated as a synonym of this species. But uh, the flora of Japan accepted it as a separate species. And for the uh, Lancia, this species, um, many authors think it is widely distributed from north, China, north to south China. But someone thinks the northern population should be separated as species of Trachylodes pinensis. Uh, here shows the distribution of this genus. So there are three uh, species in, the, in south China and one in North China, uh, one in those peninsulas, and one uh, in North East Asia. So uh, there are several phylogenetic studies have involved this uh, genus of Trapilodes, uh, which shows that the genus is closely related with Carnina, Carnina and the Tractylus. Uh, which are both from the um, Greater Mediterranean region. Uh, due to their important medicinal value, so um, the phylogeny of Atractylodes have been studied by many Asian botanists. Here shows one of the newest study, uh, which showed that um, Atractylodes carnioides is the first divergent lineage, and then goes the macrocephala. Uh, however, the other species are not uh, resorbed. The relationships are not resorbed. So they refer those species as Atractylodes lancia complex. In the last year, uh, a PhD student from our lab um, employed um, four more markers, so one ETS and uh, three more um, chloroplast fragments. And she tried to resolve this um, phylogeny. Uh, although she got a little bit um, better improvement at the resolution, uh, the Lancia complex, the relationships are still poorly resolved. So that means we might need some uh, markers um, much more powerful to finally resolve this problem. And when it goes to biogeography, uh, um, Barris in 2013 uh, did a com comprehensive study on the biogeography of tribe car cardioid. So we hypothesized an expansion roots uh, of the subtribe Carnile, including uh, my genus, Atractylodes. Uh, it's originated from Middle Asia and then uh, through the Mongolian plateau directly to Korean Peninsula and Japan. However, this uh, hypothesis was not totally convincing because 
they only sampled one taxa, and the Japonica, uh, in this in their study. So uh, because of the taxonomic, uh, phylogenetic, and biogeographic issues, so we used rat stake trying to resolve the phylogenetic relationship within this genus, especially within the Lancia complex. And we also try to investigate whether integration existed in uh, this complex and uh, uh, might it be uh, account for the uh, challenging taxonomy and phylogeny. We also try to infer how the ancestral of Apexilolis may have migrated to East Asia and diversified there. So uh, we sampled 78 individuals from uh, 37 populations, uh, so covering the whole uh, geography range representing all the seven species. Uh, for data handling, we use uh, IPIREP to deal with the, uh, the, the RASIC data, uh, and for phylogenetic analysis, we use uh, RAXML, and I also sequenced uh, four uh, fragments of uh, six Atraculolis individual so that we can put them in the peak <coughs> matrix of berries uh, for, for time estimation. Uh, and for time estimation, we're using this. Uh, so here goes the result. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to talk about those numbers, but here, uh, to, to see how the, um, the size of the matrix will affect the phylogeny, so we uh, we set the minim, minimum sample per loci to 10 or 30 or 45. So that means uh, if a loci can be found in 10 individuals, so we pick that one. So when we set it to 10, we get the biggest data set. Uh, it includes uh, 171 thousands of uh, SMPs. So also with high percentage of missing data. Uh, and then for D2, got smaller uh, data set, but uh, fewer missing data. And for D3, we got only 2,000 uh, SMPs, but much fewer missing data. So we build, we build a phylogenetic tree based on all those three uh, data sets. So here we can see from D, D1 and, and D2 tree, we can see uh, we're uh, we are using the car carnivores of out group because uh, it has been shown to be the first di uh, diverging lineage. So the other uh, the other individuals are clear clearly divided into five clades uh, corresponding to the species, the five species. Uh, there are also a tendency that uh, when the data sets got small smaller, the clades shows lower support. And uh, you can also notice that D3, the phy phylogenetic backbone start to change. That means the topology start to collapse. And you, you can see it more clearly from this. Uh, so the stars means there are full support, so 100%. So you got almost, uh, you got a lot of stars and high support at the D1 tree. But uh, the stars get fewer and uh, some got low, uh, very low support, and even the uh, phylogeny start to collapse. Uh, so for the uh, divergence time estimation, we use a two-step strategy. So we first put our data in the big tree of berries, so that we can, uh, we, we figured out that attracted lotus originated uh, at about 28 million years ago. And then it, it started to uh, diversify at uh, uh, 8.7 million years ago. Using this date as uh, um, calibration, we were able to, uh, to estimate the uh, ori origin and diversification time uh, for all the clays within this genus. So uh, basically, most of the species are uh, 
origin uh, and uh, diversified uh, since Pliocene. And we also, the ancestral area reconstruction showed that uh, the genus originated in the South China, that's A, and then from there, uh, it, it, from there, uh, it expanded into the, um, the peninsulas here, in this area, B. And then uh, from A to North China, uh, at about 3.3 .3 million years. And then from the peninsulas, it expanded to the Japanese archipelago, and uh, eventually to northeast, uh, northeast area here. Let's see. So uh, we also uh, pass for uh, integration. Okay. So uh, so uh, we we found strong evidence that there are integration from Lancia to. Uh, especially uh, from those population to the closest uh, population, LBT here. And oh, we also found uh, very strong uh, evidence that there are uh, integration between the uh, Kinlensis to those uh, um, Lancia populations. And there are also evidence uh, from the uh, Coriana to Kinlensis. So there are a lot of integrations uh, so to sum up, um, uh, I, uh, we use RAPTIC to fully resolve the phylogeny. So the challenging taxonomy and uh, um, phylogeny are most likely due to the integration as we just showed. And uh, okay, the second, uh, the Obata is embedded in the Japonica, so it should be treated as a synonym of uh, uh, Japonica. The third one for uh, the uh, macrocephala. So we we uh, sampled two cultivated carnivores and one wild population. So the wild population is here. So that's weird. So that means this wild population uh, is not involved in the domestication of the uh, two uh, carnivores. Uh, and for the um, um, biogeography, so we. Uh, we propose there, there may be a dis, dispersal route uh, from Middle Asia to South China, and then from here it goes to the peninsula, North China, and then finally to the Japanese archipelago and the Northeast Asia. Uh, finally, I want to thank the uh, foundation sources, uh, founding sources, and uh, for foreign uh, national algorithm, which give me some important samples. Oh. I mean, I'm not